What are you doing? Stay away from me! Has anyone ever taught you the definition of stupidity? Huh? Stupidity is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. It appears you've forgotten what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. <coughs> oh, and if you dare lay your hands on my friend again, you can expect a far less pleasant landing next time. Ahem, <coughs> Chiori. <laughs> Wait, has Kirara left already? Yep, with the special patrol. Bright and early. Did everything go all right on the road? I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the entourage. The way they marched forward with Kirara in the center, you'd think she was some sort of VIP. For the second leg, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. They took care to clear the path beforehand as well. Kirara won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. I even heard that Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going-away gift for Kirara. An excellent souvenir to remember Fontaine by, I'd say. Sounds like Navia really got into it! If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough to convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. Or, have you not been convinced of that one just yet? Ah, uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Wanna sit here with me? The view's quite stunning. Don't worry. I'll catch you if you fall. Alright, don't mind if we do! Well, how does it feel? This place is pretty great. Right? It's quiet and open, and far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just often had strange ideas when it came to fashion, ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. On top of that, Ugh, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. Anyway, a few incidents later, I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Not even to do grunt work. I know. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win. Even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Um, okay, then... Here goes nothing. No need to be nervous. I won't hold it against you. Of course, if anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Chiori, are you alright? Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? Who did this? Those monsters! Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop! Give me their names! Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes, I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor! Uh, maybe you should calm down a bit first, cause you see... Uh... Uh, huh? Ugh, what is this, a soap opera? I was the one who asked the Traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. I'm done with my interview. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Go! What happened to the boutique? Who did this? Give me names! I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow! Not this again. 
You're right. Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. You... Yeah, just leave this guy to us! No, you go instead. But he has a gun! It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Catch up with us soon! Trying to leave, are we? I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. <laughs> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this. If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. <laughs> Allow me to show you. The true meaning of the Chioria brand. The Chioria brand represents more than a person or a trademark. It's a way of life. Huh? Greetings, friends at Fontaine Fashion Week! Please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today! Huh? 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 Brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. And most importantly, an enduring, never say die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. And now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself! Did Chiori not. <sighs> Here, please! Let, Let the, the show, show begin. begin! The world may change, fashion along with it, but Chioria will remain the same. No challenge is too great. Chioria caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Chioria will always lead the fashion of our time. Finally, let's not forget. Only those who do not give up on their dreams are worthy of this brand. Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is, Happy Fashion Week, fellow dreamers. I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard! I made it before Fashion Week. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Well... How can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The Spina's way ahead of you in that regard. Now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troupe could use one of those. Hmm... Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat Box. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm... How about... Ah, the Hangry Bird. <laughs> so, does that mean your signboard is going to be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat? Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. And a bit cramped. Well, I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Huh? 
Um, about that. The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you, so you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. What? No, that's so embarrassing. Ooh, do we get something nice too, Chiori? Of course. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show, appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization, using weaponry in public, hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Um, Chevras, we can explain! If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the Special Patrol at your earliest convenience. Enjoyed that, didn't you? <sighs> you nearly scared me half to death. Says the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? Well, Hyman doesn't think it would have ever gotten to that point. Not if you had anything to say about it. But, um, about the stuff you said at the show, you aren't worried it'll rub some people the wrong way? Perhaps my words were a little pretentious, but they do reflect how I truly feel. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world, much less any individual. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful, and there will always be people who appreciate it. Well, guess there's nothing to worry about then. Should we go back and join them at the victory feast? Oh, yes, of course. But before that, I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer. You know, of all the nights I've spent in Fontaine, I'd say this is the loveliest by far. <sighs>